All right, we're at Detroit, and well, qualified seventh so far, pretty good. Um, I'm on the primaries, and it does not look like that many people are running primaries, so that might be good news for us. Uh, I got a little bit of pace, it feels like, even though I haven't got the practice that I'd like. Gavin, Gavin was flying in practice, 16-0, and uh, yeah, says can't even complete a lap now, so he is uh, struggling, but maybe being at the back for Detroit is a, uh, is a very safe place to be, uh, as long as he gets the cautions timed right. So, still doing random draws, and hopefully we will uh, just have the right balance of it. You can go 22 laps, 22 laps, 22 laps, race over for the 66 lap race, but you've got to use the uh, alternates and the primaries, so that will uh, be a little bit different and split that up, especially then with the cautions as well. But let's, uh, let's go out and get some more laps. Track temp's gone up a little bit as we approach race time. And, uh, hopefully just have a good race but this one is gonna be very tricky because one little mistake by you or anyone around you and your race is easily over so hopefully everyone is uh, fairly patient with it being nearly a full lap or a full race I believe they did 70 laps here, at least at the race that I looked at. And so we're doing 66. So it's going to be a long one, which is why I didn't include qualifying. Just you didn't need 10 more minutes added to the front of this. I'm feeling fairly good, though, except for the computer freezing up a little bit. But uh, hopefully that will clear up. Heavy fuel, so we're a little slow. We're going to probably be in the way of the alternates for a bit, but... Into the pits. Pit box team, 10. So we got two and a half minutes right left until we get going, but yeah, we got, how many people do we got here? We got around 23, 24. I don't, there's been a few people leaving. Looks like we got 23 starting, so um, not that big of a field, um, but. So hopefully everyone is calm. We've got a few new people. Always get worried when I see a few new people, but we'll uh, assume they know that we are halfway into this season. This is the fourth race out of seven. And just, uh, we got some people that are racing for a championship, including the top two in qualifying. We're ahead of them right now, just barely. But uh, this is where I struggle, is the road courses. So my goal is to be patient, let the, um, let the race attrition happen, because it will happen. We got down to like 13 people at Sonoma at the end of the race. So stay alive and uh hopefully hopefully everyone can have a fun time so doing the card draws again for 
precautions. We'll be doing those after pit exit on that straight. Um, same rules as before. We'll look for aces to start. The Joker will make me pause that for two laps uh, just to add some extended things in. Once we get an ace, I reshuffle. We go for a king. Not that that matters. We could reshuffle and go for an ace again, but just what it is. So I can confuse myself mid-race when I forget which one I'm actually on. And... Last time we got an instant caution at Sonoma, so who knows what we're going to get here, but 66 laps is going to be a long one, and hopefully it goes well. Unfortunate though for Gavin, um, not being able to take that pace that he had, he's going to just have to be patient. Uh, if I were him... I'd probably just throw the uh, primaries on just to not use up the reds when he can't go fast. Although, I don't know how the reds are going to stay on. Really don't, uh, don't know what kind of life they have, which is not a good thing to be going into the race not knowing the life that they have, but... Just double check that this is the map I want. Yep, six and seven are alternates. Feeling like we're not getting frame rate. Let's just double check that I haven't accidentally turned that on. And good luck to everyone. Let's hope we'll be disqualified it's a good if we race. Don't the tire compound before the race is over. One to go. Next time by, line up on the right side. Pick I don't even know where we grid. Right I think we're going to uh We're going to add a lap here. Cuz I think we're almost to the start finish line. I I don't think I've ever done Well, I've done races here. I don't know if they were standing starts or not. But I don't want to get... Yeah, we need a full lap here. Just to get everyone rolling okay, off. Yeah, that would have been too quick. So, we are uh, going to do a full pace lap. Going to add a little bit of time into things, but... That would be way too quick of a start. As you can see, though, uh, we got a lot of reds on around us. Now, I've got my wheel wraps on that are red, so hopefully that tricks people. Billy, we actually out-qualified Billy on the same tires. That makes me feel pretty good. Um... Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one. We don't need to do two pace laps though. One to go, next time by. But we're gonna go two laps, then I'll start drawing and hopefully I don't know I don't know what I need for this. I mean I would like a long run to start off. But we also need to not get passed by too many people. And if we get like a lap 10 caution, I think a lot of the alternates would come in. But I don't know if I would want to stay out then, since pretty much everyone would be pitting. I really just don't have a strategy. I liked what I did last week. But I didn't want to do that same thing here just because it feels like giving up track position would be dangerous. But I am very surprised that I was able to get the laps that I needed. Now, I'm not going to be doing those laps in the race, especially since I haven't been really in dirty air. Uh, so, 
we are just gonna put a nice little pace on and try to survive and hopefully we don't have as much action as we did early on but I am sure we will have the same amount of action and issues as we had at Sonoma just because I, I feel like this track's actually easier than Sonoma but Sonoma you at least had a bit of grass to go off in this you don't and if you don't hit the wall square uh, you're gonna you're gonna knock some stuff off so all right it's race time we got one road course left after that after this and that's Watkins Glen which Get is ready. going green gonna feel like Talladega but yeah, it's going to be interesting getting into turn one here. We are definitely all bunched up. It is green, and we're all going to get somewhat single file here. Go in easy. Hopefully, we don't see anything crazy behind us. Yeah, we got an incident behind. Hopefully, it didn't uh, slow up too many people. But with the cautions, it's not that big of a deal. That was a big late check up there. Thankfully, Billy was ready for it, and I kind of offset myself from his nose. survived it looks like he is only three cars behind us he put a lot of practice into this he's done more real world road racing lately than um, you would expect with oh, that's not good I don't know if we damaged it I don't think we did Nose just kind of took off on me with this full tank. I think we're okay. Oh, yeah, I was slowing down for that, and Billy was not ready for me to be slowing down, and we might be missing a rear wing. I was just, yeah, we got a pit. I was ready for, uh, everyone to be seeing the car sitting sideways there and I checked up to try to not get involved in it unfortunate Billy did not know what I was doing there we are down on power and downforce and we've got a pit and hopefully we can make it back without wrecking There's an incident behind. Let my dad go. He is going to beat us this race. Bring it into the pits and fuel it up, change tires, and well, I guess we're going to throw on. Pit box team, 10. The alternates. Five. Three, two, one. Right Hopefully here. this isn't too much damage. We can repair most of the damage. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Unfortunate. Hopefully not too many people got involved in that, but yeah, I was just checking up because I had no idea what the car in front of us was doing. It looked like they made contact. And uh I was just gonna go into it easy with that, and Billy was not ready for go, that. Go, go. All right, well, now I draw a card. It's gonna look suspicious if it's the yellow immediately. It's not, six of diamonds. We got our tire change out of the way. 
I think it's been a pretty brutal start because there is not a whole lot of people behind us. The car in P2 just set the master clap. 16.728. Really surprised that we got away with just a rear wing there. Billy must have had some uh, front end damage because he did not come out of the pits. But there's Lucky Dogs and Wave Arounds, and uh, hopefully everyone can make up for that. I just did not want to blast into the corner with a car sitting sideways in the middle of it, and I don't think Billy saw that or didn't have enough time to react to it. So we got our tire compound out of the way. It's 10 of diamonds. Billy's still on pit road, so I think his race is over. We're in 15th, so there's been some messes on that first lap. We're already down to... 17 cars on the lead lap. But we don't need to blast around on these. We just need to make sure that we can go however long we need to go with them and hope that we get a yellow before we have to take them 22 laps. from getting lapped. We definitely don't want that to happen, but I think we're going to have the pace to hold off until the yellow or pit stops. Depends on how much he falls off. laps into it. I don't know what everyone's going to do with that. I think we'll come in, put the primaries on, and fuel it up. But 
quicker than I would have wanted initially, but that saves us from having to worry about getting lapped. Looks like a few of the people have gotten fixed and back out on track to get some points. And with wave arounds and lucky dog, it's actually something that you can do. We saw Ryan almost make it back on the lead lap at Sonoma. And Dan, who had an early issue, make it back on the lead lap quickly. catch up to the field. Looks like Billy's returning to the track, so that's good. Although he's many laps down. there into the straightaway. All right, well, who is going to benefit from that? Ryan is one lap down. He should be getting the lucky dog, but he was on pit road, so I don't know if it's going to screw up or not. But cautions add a whole different element to this race and is uh, can change things up. I know that the people that were on primaries probably didn't want to see an early caution like this. Pete Road is now open. But they could just come in and uh, I don't know, get fuel. Or I don't know if they really even need to just stay out and take track position but most of the fields probably gonna come in as they do those guys are gonna take the wave around Pit box team. Ten. Five. And drive through Three. some people since we're Two. so far back One. I don't want anyone coming right out of their pits and us making contact. Oh, we do have damage. Okay, so there is some damage somewhere that's slowing me down a little bit. I guess that makes me feel better. I didn't feel very quick when we came out of the pits, so... Let's double check that it didn't screw over the people trying to take a wave around. It's like a couple of people stayed out, possibly. We gotta see what it's doing here. If it's sending Billy to the back right now, then he got screwed over on the wave around with the way cautions work, but it looks like not everyone pit on the lead lap, so that is uh, preventing him from getting the wave around. So, almost everybody at the back here has done their commitment for tires they need. A lot of people at the front might get that once they complete this lap. We'll see what happens. We're 
shuffle the cards real quick. And I just lost one, so I think I did that at Sonoma as well. Catch that. Oh, seven. Car. Try not to wreck myself doing this. I just lost another one. Not a great system, but it works. Makes it random for me and everyone else. Alright, so we're drawn for kings this time. Oh, seven. Car. There, grab the one that I dropped, put it on top. Hopefully it's not a king. Don't need to have cautions quickly in a row. Uh, looks like Ryan actually ended up two laps down, so he was still on pit road. I don't know if anyone one got the green. lucky dog. Should be going to the back now. Seven point three four eight. I don't know why it's not sending him to the back. Lap cars should be at the back. I don't know what's going on. It worked just fine at Sonoma, but for some reason it looks like it's not working how it's supposed to. And I'm pretty sure the people at the front didn't pit. Because he would have got to that front spot, so... With him being five laps down, it's not worth worrying about too much. There's not much I can do at this point. Just gotta hope that he does stay out of the way of the lead people. But it should be sending him to the back. That's what I, just, I don't get why it's not. Unless I accidentally kept maintain instead of going to the back. But we are going to go back green here. Ten laps in and a whole lot of excitement so far and not in the good way. Now we've got to just kind of... If we are off on pace, we've got to just manage this and not wreck ourselves. That's all we can do. Don't think we'll, if we're only capable of doing 18s, or, and that was 18s on the Reds, if we can only do 19s, we're in trouble, so. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. About to go green. Stay focused. Hopefully this start goes a little better. Single file should make it a little easier. Hopefully I think just dropped into the pit, so... Or something happened there. I don't know what, but... Nine. Slow car ahead. Go left. Alright. Survive. Let's clear all. And see if we can work on Zach. Which I doubt we'll be able to, but we just gotta find some confidence in the car. Just 
full tank, no shoves massively. at this rate. It's definitely something off when I turn left and that's probably from the wall hit that I had and not from Billy doing an Ericsson on us. I've done that. It's almost the last time. Gavin pulling over for Zach. speed, aren't we? There's something going on. Oh my 
god. Nearly locked up the rears. Oops, I have forgotten to pull a card. Do that now. Nine the clubs. My brain was focusing too much on trying to catch up to these guys. I forgot that I had admin things to do as well. time. P11. It's not terrible for how it all started for us. Got a seven of diamonds, and that's another spot. Unfortunate for Matthias. Matthias, he's uh, not had the best of luck in this series. He Dropped out in Sonoma internet connection. And it looks like he got the wall on exit. And that puts us top 10. And again, this is just race of attrition. We got Laura really backing things up here. It's gonna get interesting. Oh, we're done. And we wipe out You're Timothy. I got no steering. You've got wheel damage. Uh, they say you cut the fuck. Course. You'll have to slow down. That corner. Looks like you He's trying to kill me all race. I don't, I just you lost the nose going in, but yeah. All right, well, we are going to just watch the rest of this one now, I guess. All I had to do was, I mean, we weren't even going to gain anything there because they were all stacked up behind the slower car. So it was so pointless. Don't know. Don't know what the hell I was doing there. Let me pull this up real quick. And... This working. All right. Well, very unfortunate. Um, I don't have cameras set up for this, and cameras really kind of suck. So let's just go on board. Let's head up to the front. So Layton and Dylan and then Corey. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta open up another program to get this to be simpler to do. Give me a second to do that. Might flash the screen. Um, yeah, I gotta draw some cards now. And, uh... I guess we get a little bit of a boring video. Not watching me struggle to get around, but hopefully once I get this up, we'll be able to switch around and see what's going on a little better. So, uh, Layton up front right now. Looking to jump out into the points lead quite far. 1.8 seconds 
lead over Dylan Kane and Corey Allen behind them. Warren in seven seconds behind the leader. And then Joe, he's surviving. He's got the uh, Lotus scheme. Logan, he is running in six. They are 15 seconds behind Laura, Zach, and Gavin, the group that we were with. No longer because I, I don't know. Then we got Dan and Brian, who is new. My dad is gonna beat us, so I talk too soon. He's one lap down and looking for a lucky dog be able to manage those a little bit better and just make them work like they need to. Leighton coming around to start lap 20, currently on a, uh, did they pat, or did they pit? I don't think they pit. So, six of diamonds, no caution. Fastest car out there right now is the Leighton. Only one that's really faster than the people than that they're behind is Dan. He's going a little bit quicker than Gavin, who did a 120 that time by. Ryan's actually flying. No, he's not flying. I mean, he is. He's going fast. He's doing 18s. He just uh, passed myself and Matthias. As uh, we are in the pits, along with Timothy, Richard, Billy, and Wesley, Christopher, Ryan, Frank, and Nick. So, uh, already attrition massive out here. Back up front though, Leighton, I'm gonna not know where they are on track. And we've got some really weird glare going on there. Sun just came back out. Layton coming around to finish lap 21. We got the 10 of diamonds, so no caution. He is going to have to start thinking about pitting here. Last lap by a 17.5. Dylan's got a 17.6 last time by, and Corey's got a 17.5. They're all within five seconds of each other. Um, what do we got for tires? Looks like Corey is on the primaries along with Dylan. We got a pass for position as Laura might have hit the wall. Nope, Laura's in the pits. Laura pitting, first time in the pits, I believe. Could be seeing the leaders come in this time. Let's see, closest battle on track right now is Joe and Logan, and Joe I think just hit the wall. Maybe a little tap. Nope, that would be whoever that was. Um, Zach's missing a left front wing. I don't know who that slower car was there. Billy's still out there, he's gonna get some spots, and Wesley's still out there, so. On lap 22. Oh, oh no, where'd Leighton go? All right, he blinks out, he's back in. Everything's good. And some of these, not, these cameras are trash. Default cameras not in focus, massively far away behind a bunch of trees and... Was not planning on broadcasting. All right, Warren in fourth, six seconds now behind, making up some of that ground on the primaries. Leader is at lap traffic, my dad's not wanting to get lapped here, but no yellow. So we draw an ace and we're looking for kings this time. He's 
He's gonna get out of the way. Maybe. Or just put himself in a horrible spot. Nope, he gets out of the way. But then totally screws Dylan over. And that is gonna drop Dylan a little bit further back. Because there's no good spot to get out of the way through this section. Now he's out of the way. Dylan's now back 2.1. It was down to like 1.5 there. Corey coming around. I'm gonna have a very slow section to get stuck behind my dad here. But just gotta be patient with it. Richard might have been off pace, but I'm not sure what's going on there. And still Corey stuck. Now he gets around and that frees him up. We're pulling a card, seven of spades. Corey is on pit road. Nope, he's blinking. I thought he was on pit road. He's just blinking. Warren is on pit road and is missing a wing. What has happened there? That is unfortunate. I think he had just pit too. Let's go see if we can find where the wing goes away. And then we've got another incident happening somewhere. Oh, he just goes wide loses the front end. Um, Warren now dropping out. So, that is one person that we need to have bad luck. But Leighton's the next one that we need to have bad luck. Although, they're still going to be able to finish up further. Oh! Might have been prediction code as he blinked out there. Is he coming back, or did I completely jinx him? There we go. Prediction code's fixing it. It thought he hit the wall because it lost contact. Now it realizes that it was wrong. So he is now on lap 25. We're drawing a card, three of spades. Dylan has gotten caught by Corey as they were going through traffic. Dylan's two seconds back from a Leighton. Um, I think all these guys are on lap 25 of the stint, it says. So none of them pit? I'm confused. Uh-oh. Zach is on pit road. He's missing a wing, so he's gotten the wall. That's going to move Gavin up into sixth place now. But leaders coming around, and... A couple more corners, and we'll see if they head on to pit road. Corey, sh I, I don't get why it's... The yep, there now. they go. I think the stints are wrong because I didn't uh, have this going the whole time. But Corey takes the lead now. Leighton and Dylan on pit road. Joe coming around in fourth place. Got a nine of diamonds, so no caution. They have gotten passed now by Joe and Logan, who move up onto the podium, second and third. Gavin is in sixth behind. Oh no! Dylan loses it on cold tires and. He has lost the rear wing and the front wing, and there might have been some corner contact there with the wheels. That is unfortunate. Had a great race going, and that thing's gonna be hard to get back. It is very unstable without the rear wing. So, a Leighton just uh, really needs to get through this whole cycle and He'll be in a pretty good spot. 
Leader coming around. Corey is on pit road. He's extended it another lap. Joe and Logan are going to be coming around now. Are they going to be heading to the pits? They are not, so they continue on. And once we get pit road clear, we're throwing a yellow. Because if I throw a yellow right now while people are on pit road, it completely breaks everything. So, Corey is off of pit road. Hey, our repairs are almost done. And I gotta make sure that no one's on pit road because Dylan's on pit road. I think he's gonna be getting damage repaired, so it's not gonna affect him. I need to get this off. Let's go. Yellow. Caution. Yellow flag. And make sure that no one got any weird penalties there for pit road. All clear. Punch it. Yeah, we're not going back out. Our race is over. We screwed up massively. My dad will be getting the lucky dog. Dylan gets saved there because he stays on the lead lap. I don't know what that does for uh, Joe and them, but... Joe is the leader coming around. Warren, or is that Warren that's ahead of him? Who's just ahead of Joe? That is Richard who stays from going a lap down, so, or another lap down. So they're going to catch the pace car, and now we're going to see what the strategy ends up doing here. So it looks like everything is sorted out right. My dad should get the lucky dog. I will give him that if it doesn't send him by. He needed this a few laps ago so that he could get back on the lead lap, but he'll pretty much be getting the next lucky dog as well unless one of the leaders has an issue. What is Joe and Logan going to do here? I'm guessing they're going to pit. Although they are on the primaries. But it says they've done a 28 lap stint. I don't think that's correct. I think they pit on lap 9. So I'm going to assume that they're on a 20 lap stint and are going to need fuel anyways. are going to be a little bit boring though now having to watch it they're already boring driving them have mounts that are good all right so my dad should get the lucky dog and sent around here okay so it is working now we're gonna just sit here and watch and uh, see if he wrecks taking the lucky dog all right, so Leighton cycles through to the lead. Let's 
go through that lineup. We got four people staying out, Layton, Corey, Laura, and Dylan. So Dylan really got lucky that his repairs were not long and the caution came out there. Uh, he's gonna have to, you know, if he's damaged, he's not gonna have a whole lot of luck, but be interesting to see what the people that pit come out on it looks like we've got some uh, alternates out there what my dad has so far survived his victory lap of lucky dog should hop into the pits though yeah top it off throw some tires on it and then catch the field so here's our lineup we are on lap 29 coming to finish it up we got a Layton and then Corey Laura Dylan Logan Gavin Dan we're at a bad angle to be even looking at these cars right now Um, then Brian, Joe, who really loses out there, goes from the lead to ninth. It looks like he actually might have had an issue to get sent to the rear there. Uh, my dad's coming around to catch the field, as are some of the other lap down cars. Should be going back to green. Next time around. Almost to halfway. screen that shows when someone's on pit road pretty sure there's something that pops up on this but I am not seeing it right now that is Brian dropping to the back hopefully he didn't get a exiting close pits there all right so lights should be out on the pace car they are around but now we're looking at what 36 laps so break that up into what 18 but you know there's gonna be another yellow most likely it would be very difficult to draw 30 four cards without getting a queen which is what we're looking for but it could happen shuffle them up here get ready for this next run see if Corey can put the pressure on a Layton so what do we got here we've got primaries let's uh let's go with this really quick So, primaries, I'm going to get us a little better view here so that we can see the tires to make sure that is correct. Well, that worked out well, huh? Primaries, alternates, primaries, alternates, alt, 
alt, alt, primaries, and primaries. That is your nine cars on the lead lap. They're getting ready to go green. Everyone should have completed their tire changes that they need to do, that they need to do, so uh, it'll be interesting. I would assume you want primaries the rest of the way, but Corey might be looking for getting the lead and hoping for a caution. Top two get away good. We are green. See if everyone gets through. Oh. That is... That is Logan. Logan's off. He's got damage. Let's take a look and see what happened there. Who went around? Looks like Zachary went around there. Is that who it was? Or did Logan go first? Or is it two separate incidents? It's two separate incidents. Logan hits the wall. And no, it's not Zach. Is that one of the lap cars? Alright. This is not working how I need it to work. Don't know who that was. The gray car. That was Wesley. Okay. And I think he just lost it into the corner. Yep. He doesn't get anyone, though. So, two separate incidents there. And uh, let's get back to the racing. And we've got a race on our hands as Corey just took the lead. So, the alternates working out. Let's see if we can go back to the pass. Oops. Watch the whole setup here, but this is where it seems like those uh, alternates really, really help you out speed wise through this section. Gets a good drive off the corner, but not going to be able to do anything on entry there. The Layton has a little bit wide exit. And then, big draft down the front stretch. I guess we just caught that pass as it happened. He's gonna get him off the corner here. Oh, big wiggle for Layton, that's what caused it. That gets Corey around him. So Corey's now a second out ahead. Layton in second, Dylan is in third. Lucky by the draw of the cards. Laura holding on to fourth with Gavin behind. We got a lap car in between them, it looks like. Then Dan running sixth. Joe is in seventh. Brian is in eighth, but maybe in the pits. He's in the pits now. My dad one lap down in ninth. Zachary two laps down in tenth with Warren in eleventh. So, all right. Corey opening up the gap massively here. 1.8 seconds now. Those tires really working well. And the Reds, the Reds are definitely firing off really good at the moment. It also doesn't look like the sun's out, so that's going to help a little bit. Track temps 101. So, you would think I'd be starting to get a little hot on those if they push them over the limit, but 2.6 seconds lead now for Corey. We're drawing cards, two laps after the caution, seven of diamonds. Now we got the battle here. We got two close battles on track right now, Leighton and Dylan, and then Dan, Gavin, and Laura behind. 
Dylan really closing up under the braking there. You can see just behind them, we got this group all stacked up, four cars behind Laura. Laura on the primaries, Gavin and Dan on the alternates. As Dylan looks for a way around, Corey now three and a half seconds out in the lead. Gavin has made the pass. Laura has pulled over and let those guys go. Joe is catching up now. Gavin is up into fourth. Dylan's still looking for a way around a Layton. Three and a half seconds back from the leader. Corey coming across the line. Dylan. Point three back. Gonna look to see if he can get a little slip up out of a Layton here. Does get a good drive off the corner for a hards for the draw, and a Layton is releasing him. He's just gonna let him go, assuming that the Reds are gonna burn off here. Four seconds now. So Dylan's got some uh, time to be making up there. And now late really dropping off here did I don't think he had an issue I think those were prediction code hits we were hearing out of Dylan so Gavin now on the alternates he's on the push to pass as well at the moment and uh, he is trying to pull up Joe has gotten around Laura as Laura drops back to seventh and Gavin closing up now 1.9 but also has a lap car between him and the Layton at the moment. Back up front, Corey now has a 3.6 second lead. So Dylan is quicker, um, but he's got quite a ways to go before he gets to him. A Layton, then I think that's Ryan Carwile in the lapped car in between. Yep, and then Gavin and Dan. Card four of spades. I kind of want to see this run go long to see what these reds do. A Leighton now, 6.7 seconds off the lead. There's definitely a speed difference going on with these tires, but can they hold on to that? Can they keep it up? Uh-oh. We've got an issue here, Corey. Let's take a look at this. I think he just goes a little deep into the braking zone. I don't think he hits anything, but he just had to get it turned around. This is one of the hardest braking zones because you can go in pretty deep, but it's the bumps and everything right there at the end and oh he gets a little wiggle it doesn't turn he's just got to avoid it or he's going in the wall he gets it turned around little tap of the nose he's got to wait for some clear track oh and well ryan clears himself out of the way there, doing the same thing no escape road he can use though because it's already used up Corey's back on his way but it's given up the lead and a very big gap with those tires. So is that the Reds? Are the Reds coming into, you know, play there with him losing the nose and flying into the runoff? It could be, they could just be getting too hot for him. So we'll see if Dylan can hold on to it. Now, Layton started to pull the gap back over Gavin. It's 1.5, 1.6 now. Dan's putting a little pressure on him. Corey's going to be uh, trying to get through these two and get some of that time back, but unfortunately for him, that did not work out well. Do a card draw because I'm not sure if I missed a lap there looking at the replay. Seven of hearts. No caution. Taking a look. Zach's off as well. He's had an issue. Gavin nearly puts it in the wall there, or maybe we just seen it at the weird time where it looked like he was going to stuff it. It's 
right on board with uh, Corey for a little bit and see how he gets these passes done. So he gets an easy one done there over Dan. I think these guys kind of know. There's a whole lot of difference in speed between them. Gavin has caught up to Layton, though. Gavin is making up for his uh, poor qualifying. He's kept it on track and out of the walls, and uh, now he's on the right tire at the moment. A little nose wash there, though. Got an ace. No caution this lap. So. Gavin's looking ahead. He's not gonna just let Corey go. It's not really a place that you can follow through someone like Oval Racing, so. He's feeling like he can get up there and pass a Leighton, and then he can let Corey go. Dylan, though, 7.8 ahead, and did he have an issue, though? He's lost a bit of time. I don't know if it was just, uh, just the place that he was on track or what, but it looked like he was dropping a little bit of time. Leighton holding on, Gavin right there under his gearbox. Looking to get the drive off the corner. Who's gonna get on the push to pass? Or for me, it's a uh, push to miss the next braking zone. Corey's on the push to pass. He's got the run, he's gonna take a look. Gavin just has to let him go at that point. Corey's through. They are now 7.8 seconds off of the leader. Corey should be able to get this pass done pretty quickly. He's already done it once. for the time. It's going to be this time, I assume. Is he going to get on push to pass again? He is not. Might be a little gun shy going into this corner. That's where it all went wrong for him. Now they are 8.7 off the lead, so Dylan is stretching that lead out. Dylan coming across the line, and we draw a queen. That means we're going to caution. And that is going to make it kind of a stretch to get to the end. 25 laps. Although when we go green, it's going to be right on the edge of that. So that is going to allow a Leighton to get on the same strategy as everyone else. I think he has seen that the alternates are just, it's what you got to be on. But we are in kind of a weird area here where it's going to be almost a stretch to get to the end if it goes green the whole way. Dan got around Gavin. Did Gavin have an... Oh, Gavin had an issue. What happened? Get 
gets up on that curb. Nothing yet. Oh, he loses it under braking. Dan clips that wing. Nowhere for him to go. But I guess another it's good that it was yellow situation. This is also going to get my dad back on the lead lap. He will go to ninth place on the lead lap. We'll shuffle these cards. I'm going to assume everyone comes to pit road here. There's no tire limits. Can't put tire limits on uh, the series when there's two different compounds, unfortunately. But uh, I'm going to guess everyone comes out on alternates. After seeing what Dylan and Corey did, I think you have to. Unless you've somehow put yourself um, in a situation where you've used alternates the whole way, but I don't think anyone's out there that has done that, so. Going to be an interesting one. I assume everyone's going to come down. We've done 15 laps, so they really needed it. Laura actually really needed it. She was at 22 laps on her run. Quickest lap of the race, though, a Leighton. 16.1 uh, second fastest lap is Warren with a 16.7 but we saw that he had an issue and is two laps down now I think at this point he's got he's to go for the wave around but here they come everyone down pit road Dad's coming around to get the lucky dog to put him back on the lead lap in every single car on track pit there, so. Uh, yeah. I'm going to guess everyone comes out on reds. What are we going to see? I would be surprised if they are not. Yep, reds, reds, reds. Joe in fourth on reds. We've got Laura. Gavin on reds. Everybody's, well, Brian goes on primaries at the back, and then my dad is going to come into the pits. We're going to make sure that the lap cars get sent to the rear here. For some reason, it's not doing that. Let's take a look at this. Dylan is our leader. We got Layton, Corey, Joe, Laura, Dan, Gavin back in seventh now after having to do the wing change. Brian in eighth, and my dad's going to be in ninth. Uh, let's see if... Yeah. Just to let everyone know that we are going to solve that issue since I am not in the cockpit, but we'll see what it does.
That means we'll move Warren back first. Yeah, I think we can make this work without too many issues. We'll see what it does, though. It might automatically do it. And if it didn't, then I set it up wrong. All right, so we're going to get the one to go here. They're going to go back green at 45. Everyone should be able to make it on fuel. It's going to be tires. What can people do? few people breaking off back there. That is Brian going to the rear and Dan going in. Did Warren get sent to the rear? He did not. So we're going to go uh, move to the end of the line. Move to end of the line. These two pit in there, that kind of got everything screwy, but it's fine. We'll get it all sorted and uh, clear black flags if we need to. Billy's out there somewhere. These guys aren't going to. Alright. Billy's coming around. So we will just put Billy at. Uh, well, we'll just let him go ahead. Whatever. My dad's supposed to be at the back, anyways, with the lucky dog. So everyone should be caught up. We're still dead on pit road, and it looks like we're good to go. What does Layton have for Dylan? Everyone's even now. Everyone probably has full fuel. Almost everyone's on reds. We are going to clear black flags just in case something stupid happens. Since I said I was going to. I don't know who's going to win this, though. All three of them have looked strong. Alayton clearly has the quickest lap, but there was definitely a major difference in the tires on that uh, last run. So now with all three of them on the reds, it's going to be up to who makes the least amount of mistakes. And so far, Alayton's the only one that hasn't really screwed it up. But Corey and Dylan have both been saved by caution, so. We'll see what we got. Dylan's bringing him to the line. We are green. Clear. As we know, everyone has crossed the line. Oh. Someone's gotten the wall there. Is it Corey? Corey's off pace. Looks like he got the wall. That thing might not be driving straight. He's parking it. Oh, that is unfortunate. He had such a good run going and then two late race mistakes. So now it's Dylan and Alayton and we got Joe back here. Joe's back to the front. He's on even strategy now. We've got Gavin who just got a brand new rear wing on it. He's gonna be looking to get around Laura. Dan in 6th, Brian in 7th, and now my dad in 8th, and it looks like he is ahead of... No. Warren is one of the only lap car up there. So, 
Let's keep an eye on the front here. Gavin has gotten around. Laura has gone wide or had an issue or something. They get stacked up there. Let's see what happened. If it was Laura letting them go or an error. Gavin right on the gearbox. Laura's just going to pull over, so that gets Gavin and Dan through. Back up front, 1.1 seconds. Very quick start for Dylan, but is that going to hurt the tires? Does Leighton know what he's doing and just bringing the tires in nice and smooth? We'll see what lap times are this time by first full lap of speed. Joe sitting here 5.3 seconds off of the lead. Gavin 7.2 with Dan in tow. Warren just behind them. Well, 1.7 seconds now. And they are all putting in some pretty decent laps, it looks like, based on the pace. Dylan coming around. Time lap is 16.5 out of Dylan, a 17.0 out of a Leighton. So half a second quicker at the line. And are those tires going to hold on? That's the big question. So Gavin's pulling away from Dan just a little bit, closing up on the back of Joe. Dan's getting a little bit of pressure from someone he's not racing. So is that going to factor into how he's driving? Laura hanging back there on the reds. Brian on the primaries, as well as my dad in eighth. And then 11 cars on track now. So attrition, massive this race. Dylan now 1.8 seconds out. Let's take a, we'll just watch this for a bit. Gavin slowly closing in on Joe or staying even and Dan right behind him. Warren's backed off a little bit. All of them on the same tires. My dad has made a pass on Brian. That moves him up into the seventh position. Dylan now two and a half seconds out. Last time by Belayton, 18.1 to a 16.9 from Dylan. But can these tires hold on? Eight of hearts, no caution. Joe last time by an 18.000. Gavin an 18.042. Dan with a 17.75. So Dan looking a little bit quicker than the three cars in front of him at the moment. Back here. Sixth and seventh. My dad is 5.96 seconds behind Laura. We'll see if he can close that gap at all. Back up front, and it's opened up to three seconds over Leighton at the moment. And Leighton has pulled his gap over Joe to five seconds. Joe has opened up to 1.2 to Gavin. And Dan is slowly creeping in and really is just there kind of give yourself a gap and uh, wait for a mistake at this point. Brian is on pit road. He must have had an issue or is calling it quits. 
Dylan three seconds out, but I don't know. Is he burning up his tires? I'm going to have to uh, watch, see if those lap times start dropping off harder than a late. Gavin's pulled it in within a second now of Joe. He's right on board with Dan. Kind of watch everything going on ahead. Six of diamonds as we watch Gavin scare himself with a lockup. Up front, 17.6 versus an 18.1. It looks like a Layton's run into a lap time. Gavin on the push to pass down the street. Just doing a little bit of defending after uh, having a bit of a lockup there. This battle for the final podium position should get good. Dan cuts that one a little tight there, almost gets the uh, curb. Gavin with a little bobble, it looked like over the curb on the final turn. I don't count that as a final turn there. Leighton last time by an 18-4, so it's uh, not really staying even at the 18-1 like I thought he would, and Dylan is still at a 17-9 and now four seconds ahead. But is there a little fuel saving that's going on that you need to do? And what are we getting way wide there by Gavin? it through here. Just got to keep it close enough to the person in front of you. Dan lost the nose a little bit through there. Gavin gets a little wide. Dan gets a little wide. Five of clubs, no caution. A Leighton on the push to pass. Last time by a 19-0. Dylan at a 17-8. Joe is actually closing in a bit on a Leighton with an 18-5. So has he, has he picked up a bit of damage that has dropped him off? Because he was not very quick on the primaries last run. He's not been very quick on the alternates this run. So I'm not sure what he's got going on. Joe pulling back out a little bit over Gavin, but it's going to just kind of be back and forth here. Uh, back in sixth place, Laura, eight seconds back, but 11 seconds ahead of my dad. And uh, up front, Dylan completes another lap. We are on lap 53 now. And he goes with an 18-2, but behind him was a 17-9. We get a joker. That means we're not drawing card for two laps. So that extends this. Gets us it's a possibility of not getting a card drawn here and going green where these guys have to manage these alternates all the way and that could play into the hand of Alayton because it looks like he's now picking up that pace 4.8 seconds to Dylan 
Back here for the final podium spot, Joe holding on, being nice and smooth. We haven't seen too many issues out of him. Gavin and Dan just sitting in line. Everyone's just kind of waiting here. Gavin only has three push to passes. Joe and Dan have 10. So they might not have a button for them or they might be saving them up just in case. Point three seconds. Now is the gap. This one's going to be interesting. Gavin on the push to pass once again. He's going to take a look this time at the end of the straightaway. No, Dan gets a little loose there. Otherwise, he might have been able to pop out to the outside, but is not able to. Back up front, Dylan's picked up the pace just a little bit. It's holding even now. 18-1 to a 17-8 last time by. there off the corner back up front Dylan goes a 17-5 to a 17-9 out of a Leighton so Dylan answers puts that lead back up to five seconds we can start drawing cards next time around Joe, Gavin, and Dan, third, fourth, and fifth. The orange car is two laps down in eighth place. Your leader, though, chugging along up here. Nine push to passes left to four from Layton don't think that'll factor in too much here. It will be a factor at Watkins Glen for sure. Bigger factor is going to be what are these rear tires like? Track temps now 113. Sun's been out for a while. 5.2 seconds though. He's still opening up that gap. This gap all the same. They are nose to tail once again. Oh, whoa. That was, I don't know if that was a move or a mistake, but now that puts Dan on Gavin. Gavin, is he going to be on push to pass here? He's going to go defensive at the end of the straight. He should be able to hold on to this. He's only got one push to pass left. He might have been on push to pass on that straightaway there. Let's uh, take a look at that real quick. See how that all set up. Joe gets a little lock up. Gavin goes a little wide. Yeah, he's just going in deep there. I don't think he meant to end up where he ended up, but it does help him out a little bit. It spreads out everything behind him. Gaps between them have opened up, and the gap between the leaders is now 5.5, as Dylan has done an 18-1, a Leighton an 18-5. Dylan's just really looking untouchable at the moment. Corey might have had something for him, but 
unfortunately. One too many mistakes there. We got a king of hearts. We are not going under caution there. Looking for a queen. now up to 6.4 seconds. This guy is just checking out. Nine of clubs. And we're going to be eight to go at the end of this lap. And it, we haven't seen any any bobble out of Dylan. He has just been solid. But Layton's actually fallen off and is slower than everyone behind except for Laura and my dad. So he must have had a bad corner somewhere or a little bobble or something. Definitely going to be interesting to hear if he uh, had some damage that slowed him down or what. Because we just haven't seen those lap times that we were seeing initially, so I don't know if the heat has uh, hurt him or if he got a little damage, but Joe and Gavin having a hell of a race here for third. Dan's just waiting to pounce. He's quicker than both of them. He's just not able to do anything with it from his spot, so... Dylan crosses the line, 18.54. Gotta wait seven seconds before we get to Layton's time. He goes a 19.0, still falling off. Still slower than Joe, Gavin, and Dan. He is really dropping off. 6.3 seconds ahead of Joe. I don't think that's gonna be a factor. He could just be playing the points game. Warren and myself are out of the race, so um, it could be that he's perfectly fine getting second with us being eighth place and I'm in 18. Dan is on pushed pass behind. He's got seven of them left. Last couple of corners here. We got a four of clubs for this next lap, and he is going to set an 18.8. Layton coming around. What's he going to be able to get for a lap time? 18.7, but seven seconds behind. And then you got these guys. Dan putting a little bit of pressure on Gavin as Gavin's a little bit further back from Joe. Dan. Can he get the run out of turn two? Gavin's gonna go a little protective. Dan's not gonna be there yet. No one on push to pass through that section. Oh, there's a mistake, Gavin, into the wall. I don't know, maybe that was prediction code. Maybe we just had a little... Uh... Nope, he's gone wide again. That's gonna get Dan through. I don't think Joe wants to see that. Dan might have got the wall as well. But uh, Dan is the quickest out of these three. And he's got one of those done with six laps to go at the line. Dylan coming around. Complete lap 60. We get a seven of clubs. Dylan with an 18-6 at the line. A Leighton, 17-9. Is this the late push? Is him saving fuel, saving tires? Six seconds away from Dylan with six laps to go. Joe, 
He's done an 18-2, Dan's an 18-3, Gavin's fallen off there with probably a little bit of damage. 19-3 after the wall hit and getting past. Holy crap. 5.7 second gap now. Might have just been the place that we were at on track, but it's clearly go time for a late. Will this uh, saving work out? Did he leave it too late? Gavin has dropped off. Looks like he might be missing a chunk of wing as well. Yeah, he is. So he's going to actually lose two spots here. Uh, well, he might get out ahead of my dad, but if he's got to go around too slowly, he could end up dropping back to seventh place. My dad's going to end up getting sixth, and that's going to be two really good finishes in a row. He's going to be starting to push up the point standings. Last time by a 19-3 for Dylan and 18-2 for Layton. It is five seconds with five to go. Six of clubs. Laura's gotten around Gavin. Gavin is on pit road and possibly out of the race. I don't know if he's actually on pit road or out of the race, but... Battle for the lead could come down to the final lap here. Battle for the final podium position is going to happen any time. we got to keep an eye on both of these. Dan has pulled up to the back of Joe. Gavin now one lap down. Looks like he's called it. Car is off. Dylan, 18.5 that time by. He's responding. 18.6, actually. Layton, 19.0. Okay. Don't think it's going to happen now. It's going to take a mistake for it to happen. So, we're just going to watch this battle for third. This battle for third is only five seconds off a Leighton. They're actually closer to him than he is to the leader. I was like, who was that car that just flashed ahead? A little prediction code there. Dan all over Joe here. Joe's six push to passes, Dan's on four. So they've been using them up. They both have their buttons. Oh, Dan had a really good run through the center of the corner, but really couldn't carry it off the corner there. Oh, he, oh no. He just got, he just got messed up there. It was like he overdrove it and just had to lock it up to not get into Joe and went straight. The attrition has been absolutely nuts in this one, as you would expect. He was just right there on his nose. And I think he just forgot what corner he was in. I think he just forgot or was looking at the wing and did not see his braking markers. That moves my dad up to fifth place. He's going to go third and a fifth, and we're not done wrecking yet, possibly. A late in five seconds back, running the same times. Top three are all 18.7, 18.8s. Laura is an 18.8 as well. And then my dad is back here just running his own race. He's apparently in the sun as well. It looked like it just got sunny when we switched to him. But uh, he's doing 121s. But he's on track. We are not. Two to go. Dylan's got the lead. 
Final card draw, six of spades. Tires, not gonna be an issue for Dylan, is fuel. Is there a fuel situation that he did not see? Gap is 4.8. He did a 19.5 last time by. Let's hop on board and see if we get that info. I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't get that info. We'll ride along with him though. Doesn't sound like he's concerned with fuel. Couple more corners for him. Get the white flag. Five point seven back, so Everyone's just trying to get it to the line now, it seems. Although he just did an 18.8, so. A Layton with a 19.6, he's backed it down. Joe is catching him, but obviously not enough time there. Great run for Joe. Layton's been at the top pretty much every time, except for uh, when he got wrecked. Iowa, I think, late. Seventh and eighth on pit road. Neither of them coming back out. Dan's was a pretty hard hit like ours. Joe's on the push to pass. He uses it all up. Can't take it home with you. Dylan, I assume, is going to lead the most laps here. And he's going to come away with the win. That's my dad just ahead of him. But Dylan gets the win. Great race by him. A Layton coming home in second place. Joe bringing it home in third. Laura showing up with no practice right before qualifying and uh, brings it home in fourth. Has a clean race. And. Uh, then my dad has still got a whole nother lap to do, but is running and on the lead lap after two wave rounds. So Laura brings it around. And we will go ahead and say... Dylan really lucky with the timing of that caution just luck of the draw but that's what makes it fun to have these random cautions because in official racing he would have just been out not out but he would have you know lost all that time and never been able to make it up so that is why we are doing the random cautions if we did them for every time someone wrecked obviously we'd be under caution quite a bit we don't want to do that so here we go. Chicken flag, chicken flag. The race is over. Okay, and, we'll get him uh, Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That uh, is unfortunate we did not get to actually uh, finish it, but most of that was my fault. Let's take a look at the start and see what all happened out there. There was an early incident, and that was Wesley just going around on entry. Oh, big snap. Hard into the wall. But, oh, and then um, Frank comes in. Oh, he had, everyone was slowing down, and he had to lock it up. And, unfortunately, his race ends early. Then, a little bit of contact there, and that's when we locked it up trying to 
stay off of the car. Richard gets into the wall. Nick King gets into the wall, as well as maybe Richard, or maybe it's all prediction code because their tires come back. Ryan has a little spin. Then here is Ryan, and he spins. And so I see this, and I start checking up because it's like there's a car sideways there, and I'm not sure if they're running into it because I see contact there, but it's just them hitting a part or a part bouncing. There is a wing missing there, too. And Billy wasn't ready for that. He gets into me. I thought he jumped me, but uh, that was just the prediction code thinking he was jumping us. It would have looked a lot cooler for our uh, screenshot had we saved the jump. But that also gets Ryan. We all lost our wings there, but just one of those one of those deals that it happens. Billy then has more issues trying to get back to the pits. Ryan's going to go wide and slam into the wall. And then... I think we'll just take a look at the last lap of the people that don't finish. We saw that one live in front of us. Here's my dad. Oh, he gets a wobble puts his nose in, but that didn't hurt him too bad. Timothy, we eventually wipe him out. Oh, Christopher, we missed something there. Oh, it just gets loose there. Very easy to do. Very early breaking loose there. What was that? Okay, so... It looked like my dad was going really slow through the second part of it. He gets off wide there, and then he didn't accelerate, and yeah, and Matthias goes flying over him, and that's what happened. And so, another wing gone for my dad, and then here is us just completely blowing the corner, looking at the cars in front of us, and wiping out Timothy. We had no steering at all, so I couldn't hold it left into the wall. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be a few other wing hits, and I think we saw most of the other wrecks after that, so. There's Dylan going around. <laughs> he, he wipes his car out, but that caution saved his ass. Let's uh, take a look at the results and then the points. So, we get three cautions in those 66 laps, uh, eight lead changes. Dylan does lead the most, so he gets 108 points. Layton gets 25 and the fastest lap. And uh, yeah, only five cars finish on the lead lap. That one was brutal. Uh, as we probably all expected. See how that affects points. The Layton's going to the top for sure. He is 346, well out ahead of Warren. I dropped a third. Joe closes in. Dylan, Gavin. My dad is in seventh with one less race than most of us. Timothy, Alex, Dan, Billy, Alan, Charles, Christopher. You can see the rest. So, up next is Nashville Super Speedway, then Watkins Glen, and then we finish it off at Richmond. Hope you're enjoying the series. Sorry you didn't get to see me race the whole thing, but hopefully it was entertaining to watch everything from the broadcast view. Thanks for watching.